My dear children, today is the 27th Sunday in Ordinary Time, Year B. And today Jesus gives us a very important teaching on marriage. And that is about divorce. We know that in Catholic Church there is no thing called divorce. But there is something called annulment. That may be difficult for you to understand but the point that I want to make is about the effects on the children when the parents are separated. And uh, we have seen here in the Gospel, the Pharisees, they justify that they say even Moses has allowed divorce. And then Jesus says, tells them, it is because of your hardness of heart that Moses has allowed you to divorce your wife or husband. Because even God doesn't will a couple to be separated. It is God's plan that man and woman live in union with each other till the end. But we know it's very sad that there are divorces and divorces are on the rise. My dear children, we know that it is difficult, especially for a child when he doesn't have either one of his parents. And uh, though everything may seem okay, but in the long run, when the child grows up, it is going to affect the child's psychological, also emotional and even physical growth. What uh, the church says, especially Pope Francis says about marriage, he says, marriage is also an everyday task. I could say a craftsman's task, a goldsmith's task, because the husband has to has the duty of making his wife more of a woman, and the wife has the duty of making the husband more of a man. And the children will have the inheritance of having a father and a mother who grew together by making each other one and another more of a man and more of a woman. This is by our own Pope Francis while addressing young couples on Valentine's Day in the year 2014. And further on, Pope Francis says, Living together is an art. He added that it has three rules which can be summarized in three phrases. Please, thank you, and I'm sorry. My dear friends, only God is perfect. We will not find any perfect partner. Let us keep this in mind. All of us, we have flaws, we have weaknesses. And as Pope Francis says, perfect partners are found only in heaven, not on earth. And there are, there will be misunderstanding, there will be ups and downs. And as Pope says, just these three things, please, thank you and sorry, these three words can do wonders, especially in a married life. I would say, a family life. But today, the reality is different. As one of the priests quoted to me, saying that who was working, who is working in the, as a tribunal, as a judge in the tribe in the marriage tribunal. We know that he, this was his saying. The basic underlying reason is unforgiveness or ego in a separation. But we can't avoid it. There are divorces on the rise. But what we can do is to grow love in the family and that is possible only when we pray to prayer. 
as mother teresa said a family who prays together stays together second thing reconciliation asking forgiveness or saying sorry as ephesians letter chapter 4 verse 26 says do not let the sun go down on your anger and the third uh, attending the eucharist and receiving holy communion because jesus says abide in me and i will abide in you to so god's help with god's help love is possible yes my dear children all of us we can love no doubt as humans we are weak we will fall but as god's creatures we are called to love each other to forgive and we know that marriage is only between a man and woman not between a man and a man or a woman and woman which is so common today especially in the west we see so marriage is sacred which is designed by god between a man and a woman and suppose it is if you are living separate and it is difficult but the only way out is to take up to uh, take this what you are going through to god in prayer lift every hardship of yours what you are going through in prayer brother roger of the days he says in the evening of our life it is by love that we will be judged the love that we have allowed gradually to grow and unfold itself in us in compassion for every person in the church and in the world so my dear children only love is the solution to the so called problem of divorce i would say even we are if, even if you find you are not living with either one of the parent pray to god for your parents even if they don't want to come together no problem only through prayer you will have god will surely bless you and you will have i would say a mental connect with your maybe a dad or with your mom and as the second part of today's gospel jesus we see we find jesus saying let the children come to me do not hinder them for to such belongs the kingdom of heaven yes at the end when the disciples were shooing over the children jesus told them let them come to me and he prayed over them and he blessed them so my dear children jesus loves us he wants us to come to him there will be so many problems in life but especially with the the most i would say the most touching problem for us would be of our family of the divorce between our parents and for me maybe it is easy for me to preach about divorce but we know it is difficult but as i said take everything to god in prayer and god will fill you with his love